Hello, and welcome to Copper Cable Color Codes. I'm your presenter, Chris Powalko. And in this presentation, we're gonna go over what are copper color cable codes. So we'll talk about the base color codes, binder groups, super binder groups, and four pair ethernet cables. If we take a look at how telephone and telecommunication cables were used prior to the 1950s, the old telephone wire consisted of cloth jackets over copper wires. So typically they only had one color. Then modern multi-pair cable uh, wrapped up in polyethylene jackets started to become popular in the 1950s. And so the Bell group of companies decided that they needed to have a standard with regards to color coding the individual cable pairs inside a cable. So they developed a system that is based on the count of 25 pairs, so in 50 individual conductors, and they wanted to make it an easy to understand method of identifying individual pairs. So that's where the modern color codes were introduced. So if we take a look at these color codes, uh, with the use of 25 pair, a simple to use system was created. The system created utilized 10 colors. So five of the colors were used for the tip or the positive wires, and the other five were used for the ring or the negative wires. So if we look at a multi-pair cable, uh, for example, the 25-pair uh, cable, we will see that inside the cable itself that the colors repeat themselves. And so one way to uh, ensure that you uh, keep your pair matchings when you untwist the wires was that they utilize a thing called tracers. And so if we look at this photo, the tracers in this example is a white, blue, blue, white. So what that means is if we look at the tip color, which is mainly white with a blue tracer, and the ring is a mainly blue with a white tracer. And so the technician, if they happen to untwist those wires, will actually know which wire pairs are to be supposed to be together. So as the wire counts got greater than 25 pair within a single jacket, there needed to be a system in order to identify uh, which wire pairs belong to where. So binder groups uh, came in to effect. So binder groups are made up of a bundle of 25 pair cables with a common jacket. These groups are held together by color binder twine. So for example, if we look here, we do have four different groups. This is an example of 100 pair. So we have four separate groups. So we have a blue binder group, a green binder group, an orange binder group, and a brown binder group. So this is how uh, a 100 pair cable is segmented up into its 25 pair individual groupings. So now we're gonna take a look at what happens when we have uh, cable pairs going up to 600 pairs. So there are specific binder groups uh, for this. And so you, we will take a look at a couple of examples of uh, this. So we're gonna take a look at pair 316 or 316. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna take a look at the pair counts. And we notice that um, there is the range between 301 and 325. And so the 600 pair binder group that it will be in will be the black binder group and it will associate with the green binder group for the uh, individual 100 pair. Now, if we take a look at another example of 532, we do the same thing. So we come down and we see that 526 to 550 is where 532 resides in, and it resides with a violet orange binder group coloring. So now you might ask, well, what do we do beyond 600 pair? Because there are uh, cables out there that go beyond the 600 pair count. So this is where super binder groups come in. So we had the old uh, system that we saw in the previous slide of up to 600 pair. And then from there, each 600 pair has their own binder color. So if we look, one to 600 has a white binder color. So you can have multiple binder colors based upon the layers. Now, the super binder groups do not have pairings like binders. So uh, the previous binders would be matched up. So uh, in our previous example, in pairs 316, 
we had a black and orange binder color. But in super binders, it is only using the one color. Now we're going to shift gears a little bit and we're going to talk about four pair cable. So four pair cable is also known as Ethernet cable or if you're here in North America as category cable. So four pair uses the matchings for the first four pairs in 25 pair. So what that means is, is that it will use the white, blue, blue pair, white, green, green, white, orange, orange, white, brown, brown. So it uses the four, first four pairs of the 25 pair uh, wiring coding scheme. Now, inside of this particular wiring scheme, there is ways of terminating the four pair cable onto ethernet jacks or category jacks or category connectors. So the first one is the T568A and the second one is the T568B. And the big differences between the two is if we look at the pinouts and we see that um, pin one and two is being represented on the A side with the white, green, green pair. And then the next pair, which is orange, white and orange is under three six. Now the numbers are out of sequence because the way that the jacks have been configured is to mitigate crosstalk so that they are out of sequence. Now with regards to the T568B, the pin one, pin two wiring out is white, orange, orange. So T568A pins one and two is white, green, green and T568B is orange, white, orange. So when it comes to four pair cable, there's some very important information that needs to be brought up when we talk about color codes and terminations using four pair cable. So we have two specific patterns, the T568A and the T568B. The differences between the two are the T568A starts off with pins one and two using the green, white, green, and then three sixes, orange, white, orange. Now the T568B starts off with orange, white, orange, and then it goes to three six with green, white, green. Now, if you were to uh, put T568A on one end of the cable and terminate it, and on the other end of the cable terminate it with the B, you will get a crossover cable for 100 base TX and below type systems. Now, getting back to the confusion, there's a lot of people out there that got really confused with regards to T568, either A or B, and then the TIA 568A version and B version of the, their standards. So T568A and TIA 568-A are not the same. So you got to remember that T568A is a color code pattern for RJ45 terminations, whereas the TIA 568-A is the TIA 568-A standard, the A version of that standard. And then the same goes for the 568B. So T568B and TIA568-B are not the same. So T568B is a color code pattern for RJ45 connectors. And the B revision of the 568 standard is called the TIA568-B. So please do not get these confused. You don't have Thank you for watching this presentation on copper cable color codes. If you want further information on this or any other topics with regards to structure cabling or networking, feel free to visit www.yournetworkexpert.com. Thank you and we will see you soon.